and run. Hello, listeners. If you're tuning in, I'd like to welcome you to our podcast. I'm one of your hosts. My name is Troy. I'm Mario. And I'm Mark. And this, I don't know if it's perfect. This is episode nine. Uh, it's been a month since the last episode. What the fuck? Has it really? Where yes. you been? Oh, where I, you I been? was missing last episode. <laughs> hey, we were concerned and about Honestly, we concerned. I don't even know where the fuck I was at because it was so long ago. But, you know, I took a mental health day. <laughs> yeah, so uh, the last episode we had Mama Duke. And um, we've been honestly waiting for her to get on. And that was a really good episode, our longest episode. And yeah, Mark, you were missing, but um, we honestly did it. think something happened to you. But I'm no, glad I mean, I listened to the podcast. It was an amazing content, good content. Um, maybe better when I'm not there. I don't know. <gasps> Retirement? <laughs> I might, it might be time for me to hang it up. The old, the old uh, mic stand. To the, straight to the raft. Yeah. But yeah. Um, poor logic. If I could say something, even if y'all care, uh, I used the big console. I spilled beer on it. So now we're back to the Stone Ages where I got to mix everything. Season and listen. one all over again. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, That's pretty fitting with our guest today. Yeah, we'll yeah, get yeah. into that later. Oh, I see what you did there. <laughs> see what you did there. Right, anything else, Troy? Anything else you want to say? Um, I guess uh, I'll start with this uh, shout out segment. Um, mine's not going to be a shout out. It's going to be more of a dedication. Uh, I want to dedicate this uh this little speech that i'm gonna have for uh one of my brothers uh one of my hometown friends and honestly uh travel maison uh if you knew him as a boxer if you knew him from the g-spot if you knew him from the valley high school if he was a friend or even um a neighbor from uh carson creek honestly he was like my brother to me and uh, he passed away uh it's been really 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 hard because um uh I saw him, I met him at a, as an adolescent, basically the way he met me, and uh, there was a lot of stuff that we went through together, and whenever I found out what happened, uh, it tore me apart. Uh, it's even kind of hard because, um, I mean, what had happened should have not happened. Uh, he was a very ta- talented kid, positive, and um, I... Honestly, it's it's still heartbreaking, but I know he's in a better place. Uh, condolences to Darius, to Slater, his brothers, and his mom and his nieces. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it was very very heartbreaking because I knew him like anybody else would have known him. Honestly, yeah, that's probably yeah, you guys were really close, and you you like treated him as a brother would. I saw I saw that from like day one. It was amazing to watch him come up from when he was like five five, five four, into the fucking undefeated boxing champion that he eventually became before he left Earth. Uh, we, we're all gonna miss him. It hurts a lot. Uh, I know Mario and Troy and my roommate Dwayne and everybody. He touched a lot of people, and he's gonna be very very missed a lot. Yeah, it was a very unfortunate loss. Where, uh, yeah, you definitely. I didn't know him as much as Troy or Dwayne did, but I still like I knew I known him for a minute. I've known him since high school too. So, if you never been around him or just either gone to school or just ever had an experience with him, you, there was no way you're gonna forget who he was because he's always as energetic, even as a little kid when he was yeah. way shorter than he is <laughs> than he was now. But uh, th- there's no way you could ever miss him. He he was always uh, full of energy, charismatic, and you knew when he was in the room. But somehow also remained like the most humble dude. You couldn't you couldn't really tell he was the very, boxing very champion. Very genuine dude. And every time we'd run into him at the randomest spots, he'd always come and just kick it and just you know, as we do with our own like brothers and families. That's how he treated everybody, and it's a it's a loss that Austin definitely for sure. Took. But rest in peace. Anything else? Um, that's that's I, I'm, my my shout out is basically a dedication. So okay. I mean, whatever y'all have. Mario, go ahead. Oh, you want me to ring it off? Go ahead, Famo. Whoa! Holy shit! That looks like an itinerary. <laughs> hey, I it's, it's my thought process, okay? <laughs> <sighs> but it's all backwards and everything. So shout out. Uh, that's a weird way to just start shouting out. Just start naming them. Uh, this is, I feel Go ahead and read that. I, feel like I haven't done this in a while. Stop read that first sentence. Me. Read that first right. sentence, brother. Let me bring out my shout outs. Pull up Mark to Mark. Shout out Mark for being back because he was missing for now. If you're listening to this episode, what feels like a month that he's been missing because you've been probably waiting 
to find out what happened to him. Dude, people were checking up on me like, yo, man, are you okay? I heard the podcast. So I'm like, <laughs> I'm obviously right here, dog. I'm, I'm okay, you know? I appreciate the concern. We're, we're really happy do. you're back. Yes. But uh, no, shout out uh, to the same people that's been since the beginning of everything that's been happening. Shout out the protesters. Shout out to people fighting the good battle. The the influencers that are doing everything in their power to just steer the crowd into the obvious correct side of whatever the hell's going on. Because the fuck. Uh, shout out the teachers. I know there's a lot going on with them too. With them saying that the kids need to go back to school. Yeah, it's the teachers them. and it's the and teachers the, the, and teachers can't fight can't go out and protest because they will lose their licenses based on the, like the unions that they're part of or just the way it works for them. So it's like, it sucks. So shout out teachers. They're still thugging it out. And, you know, you, you chose to do what you love despite of whatever situation or payment they give you. Like, yeah. shout out them. They deserve better, truly. Shout out everybody on the good side. Shout out all the people still keeping it alive, keeping it funny. Shout out Freddie Gibbs. Shout out, I don't know, I'm running out of shout outs. You can't say pretty gifts. It's turning academics. into my list of topics that I don't, want to talk don't about. Don't forget, shout out uh, academics. For shout what? Them out. Say it. For what? He, he, he would, you would do have a academic. Their content, it takes two to tangle, right? It takes two to tangle. Yeah, it does. You mean an entanglement? <laughs> that takes three. Uh, we might get into that later. <laughs> uh, uh, that's, that's my shout out. I have a couple of shout outs. Let's see. A couple? Shout out to uh, Logic. Recently retired to become a full time Twitch streamer. He dropped his latest and last project. I don't know if I believe that. But I mean, I was able to check it out today. And as someone who doesn't really care about logic whatsoever, this album was actually really, really, really good. Like you like I would recommend you check it out. I listen Anybody. to one song in the Yeah, song honestly I only listened to one song and that was the one that the, uh, had a bunch of his uh, um man, man is man I is man I is. Did you know that I, I googled logic and uh, his thing it says author? Did you know he was biracial? Did you know he's from Maryland? <laughs> I, I I I feel kind of bad for just him. pulling out facts <laughs> out your ass. No, I feel kind of no, he is biracial. He is from Maryland. <laughs> yeah, what are you talking about, man? Yeah, we know. Uh, I feel talking. bad for him cuz out of all his siblings, he's the only one that looks white. Damn. He's the only one. He's a little Wait, yeah. so what is he? He's half black, half white. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. He can say the N word. You got the N word. He's just like on the. <laughs> it's like. It's a whole genetics thing. Uh, yeah. Shout out to Mike Tyson. Gonna come out of retirement and fight uh, Roy Jones. Yeah, Roy Jones Jr. Jr. I got Roy Jones. Honestly, uh, I was reading up on that and I was like, yo, Roy Jones Jr. is a fucking beast. You yeah. know. Uh, and he's not as old. <laughs> it's, a, it's a proven fact that, like, he whenever he does his. Uh, a technique he, he used to like fight roosters or have roosters and see the way they fight Damn. and like he would put his hand behind his back and read it and then like he'll fight that's the only reason why like he'll he'll, he'll like you know intimidate you and then yeah. once he sees an opening yeah he'll fucking attack so you guys him. are betting against iron mike yeah no, 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 no I, I wasn't saying that i, I was just 500 send me a dm i got you mike tyson if i mean roy jones jr i felt like is a faster than mike tyson and more i guess it's it's not the same weight class, but if yeah, Roy Jones Jr. doesn't, it wasn't doesn't, when they first fought either, right? Or when they actually fought, I don't know who won, but I know they were in the same uh, weight class. Did I they, mean, fuck if I know, but I I, I, I no am interested in the undercard. There's an undercard match: Jake Paul versus Nate Robinson. Uh, yeah, that you guys got you guys uh, have Jake Paul or Nate Robinson? Nate, Nate, uh, uh, no, I, Jake I, Paul can fight. I got I Jake know, Paul. He can fight. Barely. You just, I've been seeing Nate Robinson going through every single fucking NBA team. It's it's I don't know what he's doing with his career. Yeah, uh, he's just this guy does everything. I I can respect that. I would, I would do anything for money. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'll get in the ring with uh, Sarah J. <laughs> <laughs> okay, All right, Tali. Uh, one more shout out. One more shout out. Shout out Mike Jones got his old phone number back recently. Apparently, <laughs> he, apparently he, he didn't have it for years. Why would he do that? I don't know, but I mean, I imagine it blows up every single second. You know, I would have copywritten that phone number so nobody else could have it. But if other businesses choose to use it, they have to pay me. Yeah, I think the Sprint took it away from him because he was like getting too much traffic on his phone number. <laughs> like, so you, you need you, a corporate number now. You remember it at all? The number two eight one three three zero eight zero zero four. Wow, that's call my jokes. Wow, up. motherfucker. <laughs> to be honest, I, I think the n- number one phone call was that Jenny song from the eighties. I think it's nine one one because it's the easiest to remember. That's true. No, no, I mean, no, no. That's true. 
on a yeah it, okay you know <laughs> I'm, I'm not even gonna go into it but yeah um um mark was saying wait it was you mark that was saying we have a guest um, yeah we do Mario? our very first returning we- guest from season mm-hmm. one no we had to no Oh god damn it! I already, but fucked, that was I already fucked it all up. God, I'm sorry, Confucius. I don't mean any disrespect. And, and, and we had Teddy for the show. Yeah. Uh, okay. Whatever. <laughs> fuck me, right? Hey, do you watch or not? Do you even recall uh, what he happens? Has a, okay. Fuck it. The guest has a, a new album called uh, "Begotten Son." It's out right now on all streaming services. Please check it out. Without further ado, Vintage J. Wow, I was totally expecting to do the intro, and then you cut me off like that. I like it. I mean, you... That was a botch. Good that job. You threw, you threw the alley oop. I thought it I was good. It. I took I, it. Hey. He threw the alley. We're going to have caught to it. switch <laughs> positions. I'll do the intro. Whoa. Oh, no, nah, I can't do that. It's too much pressure. It's too much pressure. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Mr. Rumberg. Yo, yo, what's up? How oh, y'all, man? Good, good. Y'all doing good? Smacked. Shit. I'm a little sunburnt. Yeah, same. Can, can you hear yourself? Can you hear Hello? Me? Yeah. All right. It's been a yeah, month. Sure. And I went into quarantine and I came out with a mustache. In case y'all were wondering. Oh, I forgot. You can't grow, like, facial hair, really. No. All really right. So, uh, <laughs> tell the beauty. No, honestly. That really oh, yeah, we're, yeah, we're getting off, yeah, we're getting off topic. <laughs> fuck it. They should already know who you, who you are. If you, if, if you watch the second season, he was on the second season. It was first. Uh, this has been, no, it was on the second. Was it on the first? First. It was. It was, it was first on first? Season. Yeah. We did two guests. We're, we two everywhere guests. today. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, Vince J, I mean, how you feeling, brother? What's up, man? I'm feeling good. It's, it's Sunday. It's so in- great weather outside. Uh, it, it was raining a little bit. It's humid as fuck. Yeah, <laughs> humid as fuck. Hot as shit. It's fucking hot. We alive. We we here, man. Yeah, feeling feeling all right. Yeah. Feeling all right. Yeah. Uh, uh, it, it, sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead. How are you? Somebody I know you've ahead. been a very, very busy person through these trying times and obviously a lot going on, but Shit. do you feel you're as busy or have, is it like... Honest, like, honestly, bro, I just feel like sometimes I have to give myself a break because I do work myself off and I give myself a lot of headaches and shit, so <clears throat> sometimes, yeah, I do take a little break and stuff, but now I've been good, man. I've been... Just trying to see what I can help and do, bro, and still try to create music as we go. Weren't you just at the strip club like two or three <laughs> days ago? <laughs> Shout out Confusion, that bear cat red, man. It's a lifestyle but you can't yeah. get away. As long as you're a good person, like, live man, how you if want. If I was to work and go to a strip club, I was like, damn. I would be, <laughs> how, I would be how are you going to bring that up? My man has been in all the protests. He's been organizing, <laughs> and you want to bring up the Events. fucking strip club shit? Hey, look, At look, the look, beginning look. of quarantine, he came, he organized us to go take stuff to hey, the look. less fortunate people. So shout Get out home. Jay for a lot that he's done. If y'all are not following him or keeping up or even trying to be associated with him. Honestly, I'm just trying fun. to line up the room because it was a little moody, and I, I don't know if it's Jay, you know. Uh, but yeah, honestly, uh, we've all been working hard, and I'm pretty sure you've been working uh, as an artist and even as a community worker. Mm-hmm. Uh, I just, you know, just want to line up the mood a little bit. No, yeah, I feel you. Yeah, we was, we was at the, we was at the strip club. <laughs> and you came out with the uh, affinity for Hennessy VSOP, apparently, right? You mean uh, IDK, no, IDK, IDK, that's IDK, brown yeah, liquor. IDK, 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 IDK that's <laughs> that's going to get bleeped out, sir. I hope you know that. <laughs> All right, I'm just saying, because I've never seen VSOP Hennessy before. God damn it. <laughs> saying it. I mean, I'm sorry. I've never seen. I don't know that that's perfect dark whiskey. VSOP. <laughs> VSOP edition. Yeah, I mean, either is the first time I see it. Yeah, so we tried it uh, whenever. It's good. Jay came in, and um, honestly, thank you for coming in and doing the podcast again. Um, you already know you're like part of the the, the family and I appreciate for, it, for the podcast you. team and everything. You've already uh, been here whenever we weren't doing podcasts. When we whenever we first set up the pool, you know. Yeah, correct. When, we'll by by the way, the that pool. was that was a that was a big big fucking fail. That was. I don't know. That's the super, first time. Yeah. It was, first time, yeah. it was like, you know, you buy a pool. Like, what the fuck you want to do? You want to set it up? Like, <laughs> that shit took for a while. Man. <laughs> Everybody was drunk. And we had, to, we had to take it down immediately. It was, <laughs> it was, it was terrible. Those water bills <laughs> were crazy terrible. expensive, dude. Oh, my God. And then also when COVID <laughs> came in, uh, you were uh, you were doing a bunch uh, for the community of the people uh, downtown. Uh, yeah, we, we actually talked about that in like episode two or three. Uh, you and Mario bought a, or, you yeah, know. Yeah, I mean, uh, it was, I think, right when the whole 
kind of ar- around when the beginning of COVID nineteen, we had a little extra bucks in the pocket, of course, and I hit him up and was like, man, we should go f- at least try to feed a hundred homeless people if we can. Um, and yeah, man, he was with it. We we went, we did our shopping, we uh, pre prep everything, and then we went out there. Um, and this shit flew by. This yeah. shit flew by. Yeah. You can tell them dudes. Um, shout shout out, out Manny Mo too for shout out the boy Manny. Down, did yeah, the right thing, but. And yeah. everybody else that helped. Um, yeah, it was pretty awesome. And also with the the Black Lives protest, the Black Lives Matter protest. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, we. I, I feel like I feel like not not just me, bro, but I feel like every, a lot of people uh, attacked it um, as best as as best as they could um, because I didn't even know how to take it. Yeah, I didn't even know what to do. Yeah, it was just like a. Instant. Like just instant, like don't even think, just just move. Yeah, yeah, um, for sure. I mean, it's going to be a part of history if, if for for everyone. Like we are literally living in history with the Black Lives Matter. But I mean, this uh, as as much as we've been saying, this should have been done a long time. This should have stopped a long time ago. This racism and everything that's happening. I'm glad that it took, you know, a bunch of these initiatives. And honestly, I want to say shout out to uh, the not mem- uh, what's the 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 Gen Z? How is that? <laughs> no, the 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 the, the new the, the new generation that are oh, generation, yeah, generation yeah, Z. Yeah, yeah, you know yes. that that are actually participating in history, even though like you know because they're doing more, especially when they ever they especially sh- utilizing TikTok like crazy. Like yeah, my sure. daughter knows a bunch of facts and like knows what to protest and what to do in situations yeah. because of TikTok. Albeit That's she is crazy. limited to use it because there's too much other brand no. and stuff, but. Just based on that, this, they're doing and it goes in all directions. Dude, yeah, the few protests that I attended, there was a lot of young people out there. Yeah, a lot, like, of, a lot of fresh young faces. And I'm like, okay, I kind of feel proud for the new generation. The last time I checked, they were eating Tide Pods. But now they're out here <laughs> fighting, fighting the good fight. And I, I, could, I appreciate that. I love that. And I think they're going to leave us in better hands than I think yeah. we did, honestly. Yeah, That's been the sure. I don't know. We've been. It's just, dope. It's dope, bro. It's. um. Like I said, our parents probably never seen anything like this. I've never seen anything yeah. like this. Um, of course, they 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 want to divide people and they want uh, you know social police deputies out there that you know are yeah. against us at all costs. Yeah, just uh, whatever. Not, not just because the movement type shit. Be- yeah, just who we because of who we are. This yeah, correct. So I, I would I, I would want to bring up uh, what happened last night um, with Garrett Foster. I don't know if you heard. Yeah. Uh, oh, there yeah. was um, a couple that w- apparently uh, they said he had an AK-47 uh, and he was doing the black test or the Black uh, Lives Matter protest. And um, he was with his quadriplegic girlfriend, uh, which is an African-American. And um, yeah, some dudes came in and shot him. They drove um, by. Well, the yeah. full context is that they were blocking the street, right? Which, I mean, you, you can disagree or agree with what was happening. But he, this guy drove his car into the middle of this protest. And then the protesters were like, what the fuck? Like, well, you, you ran that red light to come be in the middle of our crowd. And then homeboy in the car felt attacked. He saw the AK-47, apparently, uh, and shot some shots off and killed, uh, what was his name again? His name was uh, Garrett or yeah. Foster. Gary Foster, yeah. So that, that's and the you context can, you can of it. Just to the fact, like, because I know they've been, I've obviously from when, like, what I've seen and what they've been trying to say, I assume that they were just trying to use the fact that he had a rifle against him. Yeah, yeah but you sure. can attest that you've seen him at several protests. Uh, oh yeah, today. for sure. Yeah, and uh, not just me. Anybody that was out there consecutively, uh, you saw him and pushing her at all times. Yeah. At all times during. When when things were getting rough and when things were were steady and calm peace, uh, so yeah, bro, damn, that shit, devastating, bro, for for it to happen, like right now, right now, yeah, yeah. especially to to him, you know, to them. Yeah, it is it is, and it's yeah. because it is getting like a lot quieter about like 
people protesting we're starting to hear honestly less. It, it i don't think it's getting quieter i don't think social media is doing much to pro because there is still people yeah. protesting it's yeah, been yeah. like Por two Portland, months Portland, yeah, we're looking at, yeah, Portland, Portland is on day 57 yeah. 58 that's yeah, crazy up, like, they've been doing shout out day. though man they, you know like these people are still protesting but social media like i mean it whenever it started like boom every single post was it but yeah. i think it's settling down and i was like no we shouldn't stop yeah, exactly we, we, we shouldn't stop saying that this is we should keep on progressing even if it takes a year two years it, this is gonna have to keep stop talking about it, it has to yeah. be like brought up regardless exactly. no, doesn't matter how uncomfortable it makes you feel like right. even if you feel like you already did your part a long time ago fuck keep doing it you know keep going towards that direction we still have fights we gotta win brianna taylor's murderers are still out there free you know yeah correct. we still gotta All win these fights you know yeah. what it was crazy because I don't think we talked about her. That, that's how long it's been since we did the podcast. Yeah. Um, we are reaching our mark where we take our first shot. Uh, you 20 minute fit? mark. No, let's get it. Let's get it. I kind of oh, want to kind of want to try that Hennessy. I mean, yeah, y'all are, are balling today. Y'all got the. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know if y'all see this. Uh, stone, stone I don't know if that's checks. perfect tequila, but it looks like a base. An expensive one at that. I need another <laughs> stimulus so I can buy this. <laughs> Dude, unemployment ends today. That's, it really? I mean, the, the extra 600 bonus. Oh, it is? I thought they yeah, were going to lower dude. it to something else. I mean, they want to extend it, but it's up in the air right now. Oh, but uh, as far as now, it's As not far as the 600 goes, it ends today, oh. which is, I think it's crazy, dude. Yeah. The pandemic is still going on. There's a lot of resources out there you can find for anybody that actually is, like, having some sort of struggle due sure. to not working. So We're still in this together. Still fighting this fight against COVID nineteen. Yeah, what's going on? The big fight. Shout out to recurring season one all over again. Where's the, where's the, your producer? You know what? It's not as bad as a regular. It's good. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty. It's, it's good for sure. It it still has a henny taste. Like, Hopefully, I, it doesn't still make me emotional. I mean, <laughs> I still, it still has a, a cognac taste. If I start dancing cognac. tonight, no one recorded <laughs> again. Cognac. <laughs> you gonna take off your shirt? <laughs> <laughs> I'll start resting. The last time we drank Henny, oh man, that was a terrible, uh, terrible night. I think I ended up good. naked in the street or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. Yeah. We won't get into that. But yeah, um, I, I guess uh, if we were to move on, are we ready yeah, to move yeah. on? I guess so. Yeah, so there's um, some new music uh, people were talk about. We're gonna start with you since you're a guest. You released the uh, Begotten Son. Big God and Son, um, my junior, uh, junior year project. I want to hey. say. Honestly, I, li I, I like the way you say junior year because whenever I consider like I, I didn't mean that. Dude, no, yeah. mm -hmm. Whenever I start seeing people doing like uh, projects, especially like uh, let me rephrase the Beatles. You mm -hmm. heard the Beatles whenever they first started. They were like you know sixties the band. Uh -huh. Then you go into your sophomore year, you start getting a little deeper, and then you have loose uh, junior year. Yeah, your junior year, which is was possibly like probably your best project or like the so, project uh, that you go with drugs or it's the year that go. matters. And um, I feel like the junior year projects, if this is your junior, year, are supposed mm. to be the best ones. And mm. I listen to it; it's good. I like the vocals and Thank you, bro. stuff. Um, your features, sure. basically. Yeah, my features. Um, kept the, kept or you know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and then your, I guess your. Um, your Music senior year is supposed to be, you know, like the let it be, the... You're going to retire? Nah. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, no, it's like, it's like this is when you're established and you just like, you're at your peak and just... We're seeing how consistent he is. And he's very, very consistent. Yeah. yeah. Because so Begotten Son, bro, just came... Uh, anybody that knows me, bro, I'm a wild dude. As much as I'm calm, I'm a wild person, you know? Uh, and yeah, man, I, as, as a wild man, I know how to... You know, I, I'm not like an in-between type of person. I'm either this way or I'm that way. Two different extremes. Uh-huh. And, um, and yeah, kind of that's like the way that I took it. And I, I was really trying to like rap and get into like my, like more like storytelling shit like in the, in the street. I wasn't really trying to go into like these happy records. More yeah. even more though the hip-hop roots. Yeah, even though I do have some, but I was trying to go more into like, you know, like lyrical content and this and that, just because I've always wanted to do like a project like that in my head. Yeah, I think you did a good job displaying that, especially the song you have a video for, 1996, right? 1996. Yo, that video is so fucking dope, and right. it's like a story. Yeah, it's definitely. Uh, you displayed uh, like two sides uh, of your yeah. personality. Wait, so who shot that? Uh, Dan, Dan Castillo, Dan Tadeo. Shout out the boy. 
Yeah, shout out, uh, shout out Donato for producing the beat. Um, 1996, yeah, I went with the, basically like the first single out. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, man, I, I've been holding that record for a good little while. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and it just hit the radio yesterday. Yeah, shout out KUTX. Shout out KUTX. It's a good song, like for people to actually like. To, if you, you pick any songs on there, uh, pick that. It's a good song to pick right. to catch. Shout out me. Fresh. Shout out Confusion. There's yeah, another man. song on there. Uh, me and Mario listened to the album, right? And he started talking to me, so I kind of zoned out for a little bit. And when I came back to zone in after the conversation, last time at Twenties was playing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, hey, yo, what is this? Uh, what is makes this me think of an SPM skit. Is this yeah. the album still playing? I was like, yo. Yeah, the, <laughs> I thought um, you had like something else going we on. Were, we were, it was uh, Teddy's poster child sessions, and we were just out there chilling. He, I, I'm pretty sure he was working on something. And uh, we were just chilling, drunk, high and shit. And he, we were, he was just playing beats, and we were just saying some dumb ass shit. <laughs> and... I happened to like just say that super high ass pitch, and I, I don't know. I just press record on my phone, and, and we're just going okay, back and forth. So that was you. Yeah, yeah I would have never. Yeah, that <laughs> high pitch. Teddy, Teddy is the guy in the far from like you hear from afar, and I'm the guy with the high pitch. That is, yeah, that's that's yeah, uh -huh. yeah. It, it was pretty fun. Yeah, I'm glad I recorded. People, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm glad you did that because people need to bring skits back, like skits like that. Sort of feels like it's a sort of thing yeah. of the past where everybody mm -hmm. used to do, but. I like skits. Yeah, I've, I've, yeah. if you're gonna it do a was, skit, you gotta do it right, and yeah. that that one was good. Yeah, it was. For, I was. I was. It was so funny just to put it in there. But yeah, late. It definitely shout out twenty. Me off shout hard. out twenty. Yeah. I'm like what the fuck? I like the whole project. My favorite song is "The uh, City of Stars." That's the that's right now. I keep forgetting. The name. It's only past eleven. Yeah, <laughs> I like. I like. I was telling Mark. I was like, I like how he pulls out his uh, inner Kendrick and does the voice. Yeah, mm -hmm. like, that shit was. It's catchy. Cause yeah. it's like it don't get stuck in my head. Yeah, yeah. City of Stars, kind of just went straight in. Not, not really no hook, no chorus. Yeah, kind of just straight in. And it's like the same one that I liked from uh, uh, a kid from Brumberg. The song that you're just like rapping your the ass. Pool of Hope. Uh, yeah, I think hope, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah just, hope. this is my type of favorite thing. We're just like, all right, this is a song where I'm gonna go off. It just, just like fits spit. in. Spit. Yeah, yeah, definitely one of my favorite for real. It's a good song. It's a lot of good I music. Yeah, you man. Got a, you got any new shit coming? I got a lot. I got a lot of new shit coming, bro. Um, I, I'll definitely drop. I'll drop another project. Uh, by no later than September. Word. Yeah. I, I think I seen you in the studio with. Jay Soldier or am I tripping? Yes, sir. Okay. I was gonna say that. The Jay <laughs> I'm sorry, I took your. They want the record already, bro. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. I was like, okay, I'm, I'm down with this. Yeah, hell yeah. We, I need this. I you know. This shit. Yeah, hit him. We, we got one really, really good record, um, coming up. Yeah, uh, can't wait for that one. I'm also looking yeah. forward to it. We're gonna let you know when it drops. Yeah. Yo. <laughs> you know, already has has the Instagram stories changed? Uh, I'm staring away. I'm sorry. Has a lot changed since like the first time that we ever like met and recorded, which is about a year ago now at this point. Like as far as your career and your music taste, like it has uh, definitely getting more exposure. Yeah. So that's yeah. helping a lot when people are sharing this and that. People are like seeing. Uh, yeah, bro, just getting a lot. Just seeing like a lot of more feedback from different people that mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. That I don't know, and it's good because. We need that, and, you know. We feed reach. off, we feed off that shit. Um, yeah, more. I've been stepping up my 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 production game with the whole beats and stuff. Um, yeah, man, and just trying to keep it interesting and true to myself. Not, I don't want to go a weird looking fucking lane, just to have a certain type of record. Yeah. I ain't trying to do that shit. Uh, so yeah, bro, just I just still, I still solid. Feel like, uh, I guess the way I look at it, based on like all the other like Austin careers that I've seen or artists, uh, their lifespans or whatever, as far as music goes, yours is that you're where you're at still like pretty early on, but where you're at and what you're doing, it's like on this level of like yeah. where you know what you would be at, and I feel like that's that's the I appreciate it. you have that uh, what is it called the uh, old soul spirit. Oh, yeah, it's uh -huh. like man, if I wouldn't know any better, if it was just like never saw you in anything, then just based off everything you've already done, I would have like that. How it is this dude? He's already about yeah. to retire. And he's rapping like. Yeah. <laughs> I think you said that the last podcast that yeah. you had old soul. Yeah, I think I heard that. Yeah, for, I get I get that a lot. From for sure, to for sure, I would say um, whenever I started uh, talking, I I feel like I said this uh, at one point. Whenever you decided to go downtown and do all that, mm -hmm. it's like 
you're like kind of like a future Bumby, you know, that cares about his city and whatever. And mm. honestly, that's what we need. Um, e even if it's without the music, you know, just taking mm. care of the community in your city. Yeah, that, that is honestly what you're doing. You yeah. need to so. link up with Trey. That's what you need to yeah. link up with. Y'all are on that same soon, level, bro. Soon, man. Soon. Man. He, gonna, he gonna hear me out. He gonna hear me out. Because Trey, be out, he, y'all are very like, y'all both be out there. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah, correct. Yeah. So uh, that, 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 that's kind of the respect that I put to I you. I appreciate that, bro. Uh, appreciate you put it on for your city and you help uh, the city. Really as much as I could do it, I mean, my job is fucking working me like six days a week. But I mean, if I could... I honestly mm. would as much yeah. as the people that I love uh, that I've helped out a lot. And yeah, you're doing yeah. that. And that's what like, you know, we, that's why like people like me are here for, for like stuff because I'm, when we do something like, you know, people look at it and you respond, you know, I'm trying, a certain, everybody responds a certain type of way. Yeah. Um, so yeah, man, like I, I appreciate that from all three of y'all for saying that shit. Sure. Yeah. Um, Going into new music, there's a lot of music that came out this Shout week. Out actually, Sheila, uh, yeah, yeah. Shout out, actually, if I was to say like the music is there's gonna be like two segments, I guess. Um, yeah, so if like you want to start, long, we have a right, month of music to go into. Yeah, 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 yeah. We can't, we can't so we're gonna like, we we go through we it real quick and everybody get their punches it. in. Hey, but you talking about Sheila dropped something, right? Yeah, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna take my time. Right. I got them. <laughs> no, Sheila did have a new single. She's been quiet for a while. If y'all remember her from her. Maybe she's from her second season. Her first. I, I, Who fucking knows at this point? We have a lot of guests, <laughs> which we're grateful about. But Sheila had a new single called Happy Pockets. And uh, with her permission, I was allowed to play it. If I can do the honors. Play. Sin pena, que no está en internet hablando con perras. O sea, puede ser un perro, yo soy su cadena. No, no me hables así, no, no, no me dejas vivir. Dale gas, dale gas, dale gas a lo que tuvimos porque no vuelvo para atrás. Lo que quiero es un lobo fiel y sin problema. Uno que me trate bien y llama sin pena. Que no esté en internet hablando con perras. O sea, puede ser un perro, y yo la Stop. Damn, that's loud as fuck. God damn. I know. You know. That's I'm you. Sorry. That's all you, man. <laughs> that boy <is> screaming. <laughs> it's a good song. No, but... Uh, yes, uh, shout out to Sheila. Yeah. Shout Happy out to Pockets. Sheila. And uh, I've alone, just from listening to the first part of the music and based on what I know... The second part music, is... Exactly. Like, just based on the first part without even hearing the second part, I already like it. Like, it's a, it's a Sheila song. Like, she just makes, like... Music that makes me feel happy that just you wake up and it's like a good day. I'm a janitor, so you know, it's good music. Yes. But then she flanks you and she starts <laughs> rapping bars, bro. She starts going off in Spanish. And I, I, don't, even, I don't even know she spoke Spanish. <laughs> That's did, pretty yeah. impressive. It's, it's, it's a, it's a, like a alley oop with your own self as far as your talent goes. And I think it was a very good song to, to do it on. and Try it out. So shout out Sheila. Happy Pockets. Stream it now. Play it. Play Anything it. Add it. Any other music you want to get into? Yes. Uh, shout out CP Looney too. He had the album drop. Uh, and I know it's been a while. We we haven't been recording yeah. in a while. We promote what we can. But uh, what is the album called? I think, I it's, think called it's called American, American Rebel. Rebel. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a boy definitely. Looney. Yeah, it's a hell of a project. It Shout is. out to Ray coming by and dropping the grown uh, management. Copy. Yes, yes. Uh, I mean, I have I have gotten into it a little bit, and I definitely like what I'm hearing. It's it's a good album to sit on. Like, give it like even if you feel if you because there's no way you could feel iffy about it. But like, there's some people who are you take deeper listens. It's a good album to just listen over and over because every listen is gonna be different. You know, it's it's a good artistry, and I like it. That's uh, somebody new that I've gotten into in Austin too, and I like it. Well, right. I'm going to have to listen to that because I have not <laughs> listened to it, but... You're behind with the times? Yeah. We're There's good music in your own backyard, Troy. Come on. I know. <laughs> I got to say, man, I, there's 
two projects that I've really, really, really liked during this whole month. We haven't been recording. Does Pop Smoke post humorous album? That Ooh. one was really, really good. I think 50 Cent did a phenomenal job uh, curating it and putting it together and whatnot. Do you think the reason why he did that is because he actually sounded... Like That's his son. <laughs> Dude, oh, they they sound that like... And they're both from New York. <laughs> they look, they look like... Have some. Yeah. Is 50 Cent better than Jay-Z? No. Yo, you can not pop Are you crazy? And don't yeah. and don't disrespect. I just, wa- I just wanted to poke fun. That was disrespectful <laughs> and off topic. <laughs> you said 50 Cent. That was my go. Oh, yeah. Uh, and then the other one was you didn't the, like the album artwork, the original artwork. Hell no, man. What the fuck that was that? That shit was horrible, dude? bro. Everybody was going crazy for them shoes yesterday, though, right? Dude, yeah. No, yeah, he's right. he not lying. Stupid ass <laughs> motherfuckers. <laughs> Man. Did y'all get him? Hell yeah. nah. <laughs> Nobody got him. Wait, wait. So he probably are, did that. To are those say, the yellow fuck shoes y'all. that everyone's been the posting? Fours, the yeah. fours. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. I was like, <laughs> he, probably, he probably did that on purpose to say, "All right, y'all gonna make fun of me on social media." Fuck you, you're not getting the shoes. Dude, those shoes are the, the shell. The They're shoes, nice. The, they are nice. the yeah. shoes are nice, but he's an idiot. <laughs> yeah, he's just a dumb person who just happens. He's another Kanye, but on a lower level. Yeah. Where well, are buddy buddies, right? Shout out to Virgil's. <laughs> I gotta say the other the other project that I did really like a lot was the Logic album, and I kind of got into that earlier. Yeah, but once I'm, again, I like that, yeah. we don't want to turn into so, a Logic podcast. So <laughs> yeah, for sure. I'm just saying I don't like Logic, but check it out if it, you have time. It, it's it's, it's like uh, I'll spend like thirty seconds. Uh, there there's a there's actually a song that was there that takes um, knocking doors down the actual sample, mm. and he like DJs the horns? it. The horns? No, like I'm mean, knocking, no, knocking, Lil knocking doors. Hook. Oh, okay. No, yeah. it's not that one. It's Lil Kiki. It's an older song. No, it's, but it's, Lil, it's Lil Kiki's hook over Erica Badu's. Yeah. Uh, oh, just, oh, that's what y'all were playing earlier. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. It yeah. has like four, three different samples. And at the end, the yeah, sample like, is the outcast heck? song. Yeah, right? the horns. Are... <laughs> 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 Motherfucker spent his whole sample budget on one song. <laughs> oh, it's like I'm gonna retire hard, bro. Head up. I don't but know how they get those. I don't even think J Cole has the sample, like the proof for that song, because it's still on Friday on Friday Night Lights and not yeah, on yeah, Spotify. But Friday Night Lights never got sold. True. It's the classic. Yeah. It's the classic. Can you believe yeah. that shit was a I free know. fucking album? No. Hell no. Are you fucking kidding? He was on some Chance the Rapper <laughs> he was on shit. Some shit. Shout out Cole. <laughs> and yeah, uh, going into it, Cole did drop two uh, singles. Two uh, the first one, the Clan. Jermaine? Young Simba. Young Simba? <laughs> Jermaine? I don't know the rest of the word. Cole? But. He's like, Jermaine? Cole? <laughs> Jermaine. Shout out to Supreme Dreams, man. He's hilarious, by the way. But go ahead. The J. Cole but dropped yeah, so, a two-pack. So, yeah, he dropped two singles. Or two, um, what is it? It's, it, it's two singles, right? It's the first yeah. two songs of the fall off that's supposed to come out whenever he decides. Yeah, the, 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 the climb back up. Or the the, the climb, climb back. Yeah. yeah. And then the other one was uh, Lion King on Ice. Uh, yeah, yeah, it yeah, is. yeah. And um, I gotta say, man, I'm looking forward. If this was supposed to be like him, the the. So wait, is this a follow up to the? No, the not follow-up. anything. No, but it's supposed to be like a bridge to come into his next album coming from. I mean, yeah. for as far as attention goes, yeah. But these two are the songs that are gonna be the first two songs in that album, and he's. Either trying to just start the momentum going for his attention back because he stays quiet, yeah. or it's just him getting everybody distracted away from the fact that he and Onami argued for yeah. pointless reasons. But he, I feel like he. You think well, he's gonna have on the album? I feel like the album's gonna do great regardless. You yeah, know what I mean, sure. he's yeah. a he got great. I would put uh, it on the album though. But um, a lot of times, like what he does is that he'll put out a single, and then his album will will be like. Not what you expect yeah. from yeah. a single. True. Or he'll You're tell you that him and Kendrick Lamar are gonna drop an album together and they never do nah, it. So that, that was that was the <laughs> biggest disappointment. Speaking in of rap, motherfuckers Mr. that have been quiet, Kendrick, where the fuck <laughs> have you been, <laughs> dog? Getting hey, paid. All right, guys, we're yeah. gonna take our next shot. Um, he dropped a new website. His website changed to something new. That I've seen that. I've seen that. that. Yeah. Know, and nothing else happened because I tried to apply for that. I'm gonna try the tequila. Yeah. Uh, let's do tequila this time. I'm gonna get fucked. You gonna mix it? I gotta wake up at four in the morning, bro. I'm gonna do the any. Fuck again. it. Just cause. Fuck me up, boss. Speaking of new music, man, did y'all see that August single? 
<laughs> How disrespectful was that? You, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, I mean, no, I don't, want, I don't want to talk about women empowerment right now. Okay, he dropped a song called Entanglement. Jada, and give me with a Rick call. Ross. Yeah, dude, and that shit was disrespectful. <sighs> Jada, to, to Mr. Will Smith. No, I'm not even gonna say nothing. <laughs> Mr. Yeah, I don't want to talk about other people's love life. All right, so oh no, 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 we're gonna get this into skip, this. Uh, no, just, it only say five minutes. I'm sorry. Don't you want to talk about Drake? Drake, I mean, oh Drake, <laughs> Drake's two pack, three pack. <laughs> but no, Jay. Drake's multi cultural uh, accent. Uh, so, 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 so how do, how do you feel about Will Smith and um, I mean I'm pretty sure you heard about Will Smith and Jada Smith, Will Smith and, with, and, uh, yeah, and her. Because apparently, like she was trying to, a, a lot of people are saying that this is a stunt to pro to promote the show. Yeah, 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 promote her show and bring you know. It could views. be, bro. It honestly could be. Yeah. I no. mean, the timing of it. August had an album just dropped. It's but, the but same thing then, as Kim Kardashian show too, then, right? Like as, that's what they do. As good as what? Um, here, sorry. Uh, <laughs> Your as, gift, as, as, <laughs> that's perfect tequila. Take it home. Yeah, it's a gift. As good as uh, <laughs> Will Smith has been a good father, and you know. Hey, no, we don't like, know what happens behind when the yeah. windows are, when the yeah. cameras are off, so we can only see. For from what we know, how do you feel about you know? I would have been like, "There's no such thing as a break. We're breaking up, or you better." I mean, it. bro, like, you know, they're rich families. They're probably into that sort of shit. Um, he probably has a mistress. And yeah, you know, you never know what he maybe would have done to her in the early age. Um, you know, I, I don't know. Like, it's all weird, bro. I feel like it got too much attention. Yeah. Um, I'm, I walk. It's what it's, white people do. So now that people is, of color are doing it. This what? real look. I went to the corner store, right? And I was I was just buying probably like a Gatorade and some Rellos. And then there's a there's a there's a, a black man like uh, like two persons behind me. Yeah. And then another uh, young black man walked in. And it was kind of a long line, and then all I hear in the back is like, "Hey, bro, did you did you hear about that Jada and Will Smith shit?" <laughs> and I'm like, "What the fuck, bro? Like, are you are y'all niggas for real right now?" Yeah, and, they, yeah. and they're like, "Man, that shit is funny." And I was just like laughing. I'm like, "Damn, like, it's it's it's, it's affecting people." Dude, you yeah, know, sure. I'm trying to say it. because means, everybody means th- everybody thought it was like, it's "Oh, Will us. and Jada, this and this and that." Um, so yeah, bro. I, I try not to put so much thought into it. Yeah. But the new the the social media news got yeah it went crazy. I, I really try to stay away from social media, but man, it kind of sucks when it's no just that shit there. was everywhere, man. Like that shit was everywhere. Even like head like headlines and like yeah, yeah these. I'm just bro. Hey man, fuck all that. I gotta take the shot real quick. Fuck marriage. <laughs> <laughs> fuck open fuck marriage. Marriage. My uncle fuck. said, "Don't get married." <laughs> But yeah, I don't want to talk about that. I want to get much. married, but I don't want to deal with that shit, bro. Yeah. Fuck that. If, if you did, it's me it to, until it you die. If not, we're keep done. It Take it to the grave. It's me until you die or not. You, you die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bottom line. All must. right, man. Besides that, if we're going to talk about pop culture bullshit, I want to talk about Megan Tory Lanez real quick. That's pop culture bullshit. Yeah, you I know. If, if we're going to go into that bag. That's, Please, that's that's. Uh, I, I want to get into this. That's bag. the result of bullying. Okay, that's all it is. <laughs> I think this shit. I mean, I think this shit was just crazy. All I think around. it was. I think it was an accident. I want to say it was an for accident. Sure. For sure. Do you really just shoot a woman and, like try to shoot Tor- at her? Tory Lance was hanging out with his big cousin. <laughs> <laughs> so if y'all didn't know, fuck, it's been. A, I'm, I'm honestly. It was a week ago. It's not even that long. Ago. If y'all don't know, yeah, no, gotcha, like, gotcha, yeah. Gotcha, so gotcha. if y'all don't know, uh, Tory Lanez and Meg Talent have been honestly. Chilling together during quarantine. Uh, yeah, during quarantine. The quarantine. And um, I guess Tory Lane's a little, a little, he's a little boy. I didn't um, know he was that short. He's five three, one hundred twenty pounds. That is crazy. Wow. And uh, fucking with the stallion. The story was was hey, sh- that hey, uh, shout out him for achieving that because God, hey. uh, I guess he got offended that, that there were some stories or some rumors that Meg the Stallion was. Bullying him <laughs> is, is that the term bullying? I don't know. Just setting facts. We're not we're, we're not TNZ. We don't know what the fuck sure. happened, but that shit is funny. We're going and off fucked Adam up at the same time because she, she was sunning him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dude. I mean, she thick. I was like, she, 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 she like twice the size of she him. She got football, so she got football. <laughs> she was just tall, bro. But yeah. damn, I like I don't know what to believe. I don't want to. I don't want to 
like, cause she she said like I, when I she's speak, a stallion, when I she's a fucking horse and she's she's compared really to like a yeah. a wombat and wombats are probably go up to like sixty What's pounds. A wombat. I don't know. It's, I'm just naming animals. No, it's like a little God. penguin. <laughs> She's a tall, gorgeous woman that yes, can get it, sure. but she chose to be with the show. She chooses the wrong people. Like, do you get the people she dated, bro? I know she's young and in college, but God, uh, bro. young money, young bag, yo. money bag, yo. yeah, yeah, money bag, yo. yeah. 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 She did. <laughs> Remember when she popped up with G Easy? Yeah, bro. Oh, like, like yeah, see, yeah, see, you see what I'm all about, that dude. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, that was a. Uh, I actually saw that on social media. I was like, "Fuck you, Jeezy." Jeezy, <laughs> Tra- Tory Lanez, uh, Trey Songs. Like, yeah, like do what I just said. Look at who she's for the yeah. streets. She's still young. She didn't probably yeah. know the game before this. For the streets. I'm not trying to judge. I'm just, you she can got, do whatever she you got want caught to. by foul mouthpieces. You can do whatever you want to. That didn't, that didn't get justified shot in the foot. She should have gotten famous and just gone with Drake. Dude, dude that's That would have been the smartest move ever as far as a rapper, female, that's popping. Like, did her and him make music together? Yeah. Boy, Drake will have the saddest <laughs> <laughs> album of his life. Oh, oh fuck my God. Perfect. It, it makes everything back to normal. The, the what is it called? The, uh, everything to go back to normal. <laughs> <laughs> Times are crazy. I don't even know what... I don't even know what to talk about anymore. Shit, that's crazy. What we, what we got? What we got? You know, I mean, I, I, I guess if we're gonna talk about Drake. I mean, we're gonna talk about Drake. Nah, right? I don't talk about Drake. We talked about Drake the whole last. Yeah, we episode. talked about Drake every Drake, that you were us. not part of. We talk about Drake. We're, every we're like a pro Drake <laughs> podcast. NBA is back. Oh, yeah, that's true. The bubble is a thing. The bubble NBA is back. Who would have thunk it? Here we are. I would think that. Uh, the first game that I saw LeBron James play, he would not act up like that. Why he, are they doing scrimmages? Well, they, they, they're you honestly trying to... The hell, they've been off for four months. Well, months. no, no, it, it's, it's not practice. They honestly tr- want to know how it's going to be like yeah. if they were no, to stream games. No, that would be games. more fun That's if they didn't do scrimmages. Yeah. Like, oh, shit, like, oh, it's man. like... We're we talking about a billion-dollar business right yeah. here. So, right, they're gonna yeah, take so right. guess what? Be, be if, if, if they were to, you know, like, just put people out... It, I, I, the NBA is probably actually the end... The, uh, baseball is the I think the number one paid, but the NBA is the second, and they want to you know like trying to see if if it was to make money for them to put people or their basketball players with in the COVID without you know yeah. viewing yeah people there, then they want to know how it would be like. It's because we're an addicted country that cannot take a break from nothing for, for sure. no longer than a month, bro. Hey, the, conserv- the conservatives are the one like bring the sports back. You know you're a fuck. It's hey, the, I'm the same way. So money, Honestly, bro. Revenue, 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 yeah. revenue. Yeah, money All talks. Right. Sports is probably one of the best things that you want to watch. Like you look forward to. You want to. You want to see these athletes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I like watching. I like the way they did the UFC. Yeah. No, yeah. they bought a whole fucking island that too. Like the UFC. Yeah, yeah. that was crazy. That was and boxing. But you can't do that for like. A whole I mean, they should just let people do golf, do tennis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there, there, there are people with golfing. No context. Trust Sports, me, you know. Trump has been golfing during all this. Uh, Trump, Tiger Woods Trump 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 was golfing with right right Brett again. Favre. Trump Dude. was golfing with Brett Favre. Wait, today yeah, I don't, don't want to talk about that piece of shit on the show. I don't want to give him you. any life. But yeah, other than Trump, uh, Kanye. Kanye, oh, Kanye, oh man. Inspiring president. I like Kanye as an artist. But That's not as a president. That's it. <laughs> as a president, as, uh, a, as a candidate, reaction. you mean? <laughs> yeah. I as mean, I would say like never a potential president. Well, so, so there was he tripping. There, there was this thing saying that uh, Kanye is going to take all the black vote from Joe the, Biden. The, the, yeah, Joe Biden, and uh, that if would he takes, make him lose against Trump. Yeah, he would make a lose against Trump. But I mean, regardlessly, he didn't qualify to be on the ballot. Luckily, in a couple of states. He's still That's, on the battle. Uh, yeah, isn't yeah, isn't yeah. The Rock running? No, he, he wants to run eventually, but not yet. Oh, yeah. Uh, I saw like some. Do Arnold uh, Schwarzer. I, mean, I never had an answer. <laughs> <laughs> Arnold Schwarzer. <laughs> oh, there's Schwarzer, sure, sure, sure. You got to be careful how you say that because the end of it sounds a little bit like another word. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we got to. No, but uh, Kanye definitely has more fucking, what is it? Uh, Menta- mental car- issues? Car- car- Charismatic is some charisma. That's what I meant to say. He's then Joe Biden by fucking far. If, yeah, yeah. 
he's younger than him. What, was, what do I you mean, mean? I don't they, feel any kind of urge to vote for Joe Biden. I bet you he's the same age as Donald Trump would be as a young Donald Trump running for president. If there was a world where Kanye was president, how would everybody feel? <laughs> how is it being ran? At what point did he become president? Like, Shit. like I mean, go from right here and then tomorrow he's president. I would not like that at all. You I'll, wouldn't? I'll be oh. I'll be with the group that be shooting shut up downtown. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, uh, hey, hey, no activist J. Do you think that uh, <laughs> he would easily get bought out by politicians? Uh, maybe. But do you think he'll be a better candidate than Trump? At this point, you see, that's it's not, a, you, it's not hard. You, you, you see two, where I'm this, coming this from. Two, the standard's not very high. So you're saying pick the lesser two evils? I mean, it's always a thing with voting. So. If those are the only two choices. I just want to move to another country and not deal with this shit. I don't, I don't, wanna, I don't even want to <laughs> answer that question. <laughs> it sucks. Like, Honestly, I, I guess you, can, you can say the right thing and you can say the wrong thing at the same time. It, it, it sucks that like we have to depend on you know this entrepreneur that made... A, I'm pretty sure he's a, yeah, he's a billionaire. Yeah. And then you have this creative artist who's been corrupted by... I mean, after his life, mother, just yeah, water, you know, water, like, life materialistic happened. power. Yes. And even though he tries to, you know, he needs help. But this is what we're dealing with. The person needs help and a person who's in power. And I think those, they need to change it and add qualifications to people trying to be presidents. Cause sure, man. Fuck this two party system. bro. Welcome to America. <sighs> Either people America. share a giant dude. If you listen in another country, I'm so sorry. The, land, the land of the corrupt. Yeah, yeah. man. Done with this country. How y'all feeling? Y'all buzzing? I, y'all buzzing? I, y'all buzzing? I, I am sad and scared because I, I thought that I was having the other day when I was thinking about it. I was like, all we see now and all we see advertised are uh, live, or, or no, not live, uh, stream shows on IG Come or on, Facebook. Come on, Instagram or versus? No, not that. Just like just concerts, like from no, here like now. so, like it, it's better to go to a concert and enjoy everybody there in your presence instead of watching, you know. Yeah, but based off of this, do you think the future? Because already right now, at this point, the music industry, as far as like concerts and you know people this that drive off of that, for sure. it's it's the shitty end of a stick, you know. But you think the future of concerts has changed, like? Drastically, like, do you think after everything calms down and we're not quarantined anymore and COVID is a thing of the past? So, you're Are saying, like, is, is, nice is there any way that we're gonna be able to be in a concert? Just like, no, I think he's asking, is is concerts just gonna be different from here on out? Yeah, for the rest Probably of not, our bro. eternity. I don't think it will. Once we'll be good, yeah, like I, a, I think, uh, like, uh, after quarantine, people are gonna be anxious. Yeah, once, once venues open back up. Things are gonna go back to normal. It's gonna take a while, of course, but yeah. sure. I don't think there'll be like virtual concerts and this and that. Because yeah. I, I think about it like, also here, obviously, there's obvious examples here in Austin. There's a lot of venues that have already gone out of business because they can't. Unfortunately, you know, there's Was no money like, coming in. You know, like ninety percent. So say yeah. we get to a point where it goes back crazy, to normal, we can bro. always like go back to gatherings or whatever. I mean, that that's basically how they make their money. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know it's fucked up. Yeah, they, they they get a shit. They don't get no assistance. They don't get acknowledged. It's a shitty end of the stick. But say everything goes back to normal. Corona's a thing of the past. All the businesses are open, and some re- and there's like no music venues because they all died yeah. out and like, you know they couldn't keep them live. It all went to. We gonna shit. start doing block parties. <laughs> yeah, hey, that'll be that, live. That, hey. What's gonna happen is that we're gonna start doing we shit like that, hit. black parties, and then the venues will eventually reopen. <laughs> And concerts are going to resume. Black parties. You loud. you can't you can't replace the feeling of an actual live concert. That's you what I'm, that's what I'm hopeful of because I'm can't. I'm I I miss going to shows like yeah. I love going God, to shows like I kind of actually miss being squished thing. in the yeah. fucking crowd. I miss like, even Scott if nobody would ever go with me. Pit. I would go to concerts alone, bro. Like I I loved yeah. it. Yeah, and it sucks. It's, I am. <laughs> Throwing the tantrum right next to I miss watching Mario get dropped by the crowd surf <laughs> on the whole fucking floor at ACL. That was funny. <laughs> Damn, we just went through all the topics. Oh, sir. Wait, are we going for two hours? No, we've been burning through topics because you got the drunk. <laughs> no, I'm not. There is one topic we haven't gotten into yet, man. I do want to talk about Snoop Your boy versus DMX. Oh. You got to uh, watch that's a little you, top. You were, that's you a small spamming top. me with that. Come did on, you man. watch that? You yeah, I did. <laughs> so, a little bit. I, I watched a little bit. I was doing something, but but yeah. So um, I got drunk tonight. And oh my god, you guys! Fucking 
<laughs> I listened to some of it. I, I just do yeah, that. I, I didn't pay attention. I'm sorry. I watched it and it was good. Yeah. And let me tell you, Did you, let me tell you, Snoop has a lot of hits. And I think that what have you done for me lately mentality has watered down his sound. But nah, man, he has three decades worth of hits. That's crazy. See, but the difference is like Snoop has ventured off to other genres and tried new things. Snoop and Lion. It's, yeah. yeah, and it's, yeah. he just had a song Snoop with the uh, uh, a banda, right? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. He had the little Spanish song. So, so Snoop went that, uh, I like to say it's a Kid Cudi route where it's like you got to a high peak and there's no way you're coming down. So you can do whatever you want because either way it's going to sell. Yeah. Whereas DMX... He dropped a lot of good music throughout the years before, like, addiction hit and it just started happening. In a know? shorter window, but yeah, he did. But he still, like, those are, like, I think it's, I look at it more of as, like, classic. <sighs> it, it is a tough, but I still go DMX, I'm sorry. Off, off topic, wow. you know that he actually has his own little orchard? DMX or Snoop? DMX. DMX. Oh, yeah, he does a lot so, to like, try to recover. Anybody like, here got DMX? I saw DMX in Costco last year, South by Southwest. No, South no, I mean he has his little or- orchard because I, oh, I would okay. add, like so he take care of plants. He grew some plants, okay. Yeah, he grew. <laughs> fuck, he takes care of them. It's he grew them and he. Takes it's hard, them. right? Sure, you had plants and it's hard to take care of plants, right? Uh, I mean, <laughs> my little uh, Gilbert died. Uh, a little, uh, little mint plant, right? Yeah. So you cooked them. You used them for what he was meant to be in life. <laughs> right? You don't cook them. You put them in. He's water. a seasoning. He's a seasoning. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, but yeah, due to Corona, no, nah, due to the heat weather of Texas and the dark, couldn't take them. That was uh, that was my baby boy. That was my first plant. Your I first kept boy? him alive. I, I kept him alive for two months. Man, and it was that long. That motherfucker smelled the whole apartment like mint spearmint. I didn't That's even. Love. I didn't even know you. You weren't supposed to. You're supposed to hang them up, not like leave them like that. That's not a bad smell, man. <laughs> yeah, I would prefer that over gumball. <laughs> you know, like gumball smell like piss. Yeah. yeah so you if you have like a gumbo, is the cat? Yeah. The cat. yeah, oh, yeah. Gumbo. Yeah. I thought you. I thought you said gumbo. I'm about to say what? That's his name. No, nah, but I, I grew a spearmint plant for two uh, months that I found him at Lowe's, and like you're supposed you to hang them up. I rescued him. <laughs> I found him you on the st- ground. He stole it. Yeah. It was it, <laughs> he was, like the, it was it was right by the door. So I just yeah, see that yeah, meme that that's on like sale, <laughs> you see that meme that's plant. like I like the free plants they have outside of Lowe's and <laughs> Home Depot. <laughs> bro, everybody be stealing from Home Depot. Fuck bro. yeah, bro. A lot fuck of my homies at work construction. Hey, fuck stealing. Home Depot, bro. Bro, all you have to do is take the plant out of the pot and put it in your pocket and it'll walk out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the, the, all you need is a roof. That's all you need. It's like dude, just water it on the way home. It's like, dude, the fucking the, the, the receipts on the pot, just put it it's already it's already wow. compact. Just put it in your pocket. I never thought it. about that, but he's absolutely right. <laughs> who trying to who trying to go steal? <laughs> hey, we're trying going to go out to this. We're gonna experiment. Walmart, we're gonna pull up to Home Depot if they haven't put it all up. Who's trying to make them tea later? <laughs> no, but and we're we plants and we can wear masks. IDK, that's a plant that we can sell you if you want to buy it. <laughs> uh, the experiments plants are supposed to be in dark areas, and I raised. I this dude got so big, I was like, "Yo, I gotta put him. I don't know where to put him." And like, he started going down. And I was like, "Oh shit, these are one of those plants you fucking hang on a goddamn tree or something." And uh, yeah, I didn't do that. And he's supposed to hang down, not hang up, and I fucking stapled his. Oh, God. <laughs> That was a joke. Sorry, Gilbert. Uh, rest in power, Gilbert. The spearmint he, plant. He crucified the plant. <laughs> oh, my God. No, but to be honest, you could take a leaf off of them and squish it up and put it in anything. That spearmint is so fucking less like Odin. I was like, yo, this shit's strong as fuck. You just take one leaf and just put it anywhere and it'll smell like spearmint. Or spearmint. That's dope. That's dope as hell. I did learn, though, about that. I was like, yo, I don't know shit about plants. I just found this guy on... Inside the vent of Lowe's and Stone. <laughs> All right, uh, I got a question for y'all. Yep. Shoot. Uh, something that y'all that y'all have learned uh during this quarantine. Hmm. That's a good question. I it don't ha- it don't have to be nothing crazy. It can be something small or whatever. I think I yearned being out in random crowds. Yearned or learned? Learned. Yearned. Learned. Yearned. <laughs> no, yearn means like I, ha- I have a need okay. to be. A- so sorry. it's going to okay. tie into learning, right? <laughs> you going to tie it I in? learned, yeah, I learned that the type of person I am sometimes I, I like to be at. Because, I, dude, I miss going to the bar every day after work and just socializing. 
Yeah, I didn't even socialize. Like, I'd chill, sit at the bar, whatever, but, like, meet new people. Like, mm. I'm not, like, not, I'm not saying that I'm, like, trying to, like, just meet girls or whatever, but, like, every person that I would meet at the bar is, like, just random strangers. Like, hey, how's it going? Just just random stranger interaction. Correct. Not distancing. Like, I like human interaction. Uh, nice. Yeah, you, you were at the bar every fucking day. <laughs> yeah. If anything, you've been saving a little bit of money by not going to the bar. Yeah, that's why I bought a bunch of bottles at the beginning of quarantine. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> he uh, buy a bottle every fucking I don't mean uh, if we're going to our... our oh, our so no, you have to learn. You have to say something you learned. Yeah, man. All right, Tell you want to pour it up? Learned. Um, so oh, the, oh, oh. Yeah. I thought you were trying to shut us down. No, we're against the power. No, man, we, I, we need this content for the streets. What did we're you learn during quarantine, Troy? What I learned this, during what quarantine what have, what have is... Um, and quarantine has been since March. We are in July? Yeah, yeah, we are no, in we July. Are the end of July. In yeah. America's so stupid. I'm sorry, bro. So uh, what I learned about um, COVID is, you know, who... For me, uh, the businesses that were doing the, you know, the quarantine, the quarantine quarantine, and coming back out and not knowing their fucking place, even though I'm fucking working. Okay. <laughs> wait, no, no, wait, no, wait no. what? So look. look, look. What I learned is knowing that your businesses, you know, like they've been in quarantine for two, a month or two. And when you come back out and they want to act all brand new thinking that they know what what's been happening. Like they like, dude, you've been in the house for you could have poured me. Sorry, <laughs> I'm going to do it. Um, I was like, yo, like you could have. Um, I, I know who my businesses are and who the assholes are. I was like, yo, you need a mask. Cause like, I fucking know that shit. I've been doing this shit for two months while you're in quarantine. Don't you be telling me what the fuck to do? Yeah. Like, did oh, like them telling you put a mask on, yeah. stay away, wipe I was your like, hands. I was like, yeah, you know what? That, that's the only thing I learned. Like your ass, your asshole fucking here. businesses. There's like, I've been out here working my ass off, See, delivering to houses, do. and you've been in quarantine. You're probably not even gonna get paid, and now you want to. Tell me to put my mask on. I was like, "Yeah, bitch, it's in my fucking pocket. Give me a fucking uh, minute." Context: give Troy me, does deliver packages. Give me the shout out. Shout out to essential workers, y'all. It's like, give me uh, a fucking a, minute to put it on. God damn it! Don't you be telling me from the outside the door. Y'all triggered, Troy. Dude, you're ranting now. Shout out! Shout out! Shout out! Oh my god! god. Get all over again. Fucking you happening. fucking know the photo. Look at this shit. Take it and calm down. Golly! Uh, shout out Yo. to essential workers. Take that shot. <laughs> No, me and Jay did watch Mario and overfill that shot. <laughs> no, but um, <coughs> oh shit! I, I, I honestly like my businesses, like to know me whenever I first started delivering to them, and then they're just like, when I come back, they act like they don't know me. It's like, <laughs> okay. yo, I've been out here for two months, still delivering with my mask. Yeah, it's a little hot outside. Yeah. I'm running everywhere. Bro, I want to take it off and I'm gonna put it back on. It's like no, you have to put it on. I was like, you motherfucker. See, working, you, Jay, you made you made him go on off on that tangent. <laughs> I'm so, glad. I'm glad. Uh, you know, no, no. Honest, I, I've already talked about this, but uh, yeah, I mean, wear your fucking mask and don't you tell me to wear my mask because since you've been working for a month or two, there's been a lot of bitch. people on ten out there, especially like some sort of people that are sort of white and sort of feel like they have the privilege to not do what they're told to do. Whereas Troy understands why, so he does it. But there's people out there that are like, no, for I no have a fucking reason. Like, I can't wear a mask. But it comes with the privilege that I hope soon fucking dies and you become the minority at some point. Uh, I'm going to leave that at vague. If you don't understand, I'm sorry. But, yes, yeah, just keep doing the same thing we've been doing for the past... Three, four months. If you go out, wear your mask, keep distance, use hand sanitizer. Fucking, I hope y'all are wiping all the asses at this point because sometimes they go missing. I hope still. So. <laughs> God damn, bro. Like, we are a very delayed country, it seems like. Yeah, for sure. We're in a fucking global pandemic. Dude. We're a I, country I, that got to. I dead. wouldn't say delayed. I feel like we are a very stubborn company. Yeah, that we're advanced, but country. we're stubborn and we are so. Fucking hard headed. Yeah. And those fucking stupid. Karens that stupid. Karens Look at our president, that, bro. Ah, oh, fuck, man. God damn it. All right, Mark. All right. One thing I learned during this quarantine is you that love I Amazon. really do not have a. You hobby. made Jeff Bezos a billionaire. Wait, I did. I, I did order a lot from Amazon. What did you say? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. <laughs> uh, I really did not have a hobby, so I said, "Fuck it, I'm gonna start working out." And I did. 
And I did. Hey, shout out Mark. He just finished 30 days of not drinking. Yo. Sure. Dude, you know, that's my, one, that that's my one positive crazy. moment. You ruined it. Fuck. You ruined it. Yeah, I was 30 days. So that's that badass. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was happy for you. God damn. If you watch this podcast, man. you know I get fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody knows that. Uh, I went 30 days sober. And you know, here I am drinking again. I can drink. So now. would you say that's your positive notes? Yes, that's my positive. Well, note, you know, way, honestly, too. if you if if we were to go into it, uh, I don't I don't I don't know how much my computer can take. We might we might as well go into it. We might as well go into it because you already ruined Do it. Do you want to go, Jay? No, you no, no he's it? actually the last one to go. Oh shit! I'm sorry, bro. Oh, I'm my, I'm, I'm answering my own question. <laughs> oh <laughs> shit! No, my bad, my bad, my bad. I got to order it. You ask. You don't have to answer. No, no, no. So what has COVID? Taught you. Taught you. Quarantine. Quarant- Quarantine or COVID? <laughs> Shit, both of them. Both of them. Both of them, bro. <laughs> both of them. Fuck COVID. Uh, I, I, doc- I heard a doctor say that the only way we can get rid of COVID is if we all catch it. Mm, I believe that. I believe you know that. what? Honestly, the first time that we had a conversation about aliens and stuff, uh, you, you're, you're like into... You know, yeah, to open bit. your mind up uh-huh. a little bit, you know. He's open-minded. Yeah, very open-minded. And I've heard something like that, but would you risk it? Not really, bro. Um, I mean, this is serious. This is a man-made virus. Um, yeah. To be man-made. honest, uh, this shit has, I feel like it happened even last year. Whenever I feel like I caught it, I was outside. I couldn't even sleep in my room. I was just literally outside in a blanket. It's fucking with yeah. the fever and everything. And I, and I got like, it back when we came from Chicago. And we everybody else got it. And I was like, yo, maybe this shit has been here, but wh- who, who's the biggest population in the world? Fucking China. Mm-hmm. And guess the fastest way to spread it? Traveling. Traveling mm-hmm. and the biggest population of, you know, the biggest population, you know? So, yeah, I understand this, like, if everyone catches it. Yeah. Huh. But what... But, one thing that my, I mean, cut you off. One thing that I've learned about the quarantine is that we as people, um, we have to take like our time into better matter. I feel like um, appreciate it, appreciate it, and appreciate that we that we got like with one another. Like even like right now, and, like as you've seen, a lot of people are dying in the city, bro. Yeah, bro. Um, yeah. I have, I've, I've, I know. A couple, a couple friends that family members have passed away because of COVID, um, and yeah, man, and and to and to save and to save your funds, because a lot of people are like struggling, bro. You know what I mean during these times, yeah. and I don't, and you know, middle class and even the poor, bro. Like even the people that are in, in those poverty zones and this and that. Like imagine how they how they coming, yeah. how they going through. You know the parents. That are having financial problems, and then the kids, yeah, you know, what I'm trying yeah. to say like it turns into a generational um, thing. But like I said, bro, we honestly, I do like if I was to be, I do agree with you. I feel like either everyone has to catch it because there, there, there's no way of stopping it. To be honest, right now mm-hmm. there is no way of stopping it, and I guarantee you, everybody's had it at the, this point of this life because this is the a number large one population point. At this yeah. Point, yeah. And um, the way uh, people are dealing with it, we should have dealt with it the way China dealt with it, the way New Zealand dealt with it. We should have worn masks way better. We should have never opened anything. But guess what? We did. So now at this point, America's way to fix it is, guess what? You probably got it. Deal with it. And honestly, I feel like that's the way. At this point, it's just like, as long as you're not old, don't be around with old people. Mm. As long as you're healthy. That's kind of a fucked up way to look at it. Don't be old. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't, don't hang around yeah, old yeah, people. Don't yeah, yeah, don't hang around old people. Don't hang around children. But if you hang around like this, I mean. Or people that have, like, respiratory problems. Yeah, yeah. Or, yeah. Any yeah. Sort of that, or any sort of that kind of minor. Because even if it's, like, family originate, like, yeah. it can affect them. Sure. But, yeah, the, the way it's spreading at this point, there's no way of stopping it. As long... There's no way of stopping it, if especially with the ignorant people that don't want to wear masks or whatever. Yeah. And um, as unbiased as I can say, we should have all wear masks during this podcast. But guess what? We didn't. And I'm glad that you brought that up because I've been thinking about this as like, yo, 
this shit is kind of unstoppable and this is our fault and if you mm-hmm. catch it honestly like you you have a good immune system don't fucking spread it to other people if you know you have it if you feel sick whatever don't spread it to other people and let them know it's like fucking yeah. hiv herpes like come yeah, on man take it seriously you gotta quarantine after you catch yeah. it clean everything because i mean we do that we i know people who, who've caught it and then go out here and there and there and they're like oh come on man like I stayed home for two weeks because he I, did. He stayed I home was whole around two weeks. people who had it and I didn't want to yeah. be associated with that. You know, you got to think about the other people around you. You know. might potentially kill somebody. Yeah. Going I waited until I found out that I was good and I was like, all right, yeah. be more careful after that. Because it, it is a sort of like alarming whenever you first find out that, you, that you've either worked or just been around or anywhere close to anybody that's had it because it's like it's yeah. sort of scary, you know, like. But you know, don't be ashamed. You're not. It's not an STD. It's, it's not. It's something that yeah. you can catch anywhere and everywhere. It's all. It's everywhere. At this point, take proper precautions. Yeah, for sure. But yeah. Um. We do have to. We have one last segment, right? Yeah, the positive. We notes. need to get into this shit because I feel like we're running out of time, and you're not saying anything about it. But I know. Yeah, I'm nervous. Cause I I'm know. Gonna keep getting drunk. I know. We're out we of time. start to finish the rest <laughs> of this. Liquor and then that liquor <laughs> and then that liquor. I already went. I already went. I had to wake else. up at four. Hey, brother, just else. honestly keep that. All right, mm-hmm. uh, can you tell us what your positive note was? Okay, my positive note that before you ruined it sorry. was I was 30 days sober and that shit fucked me up mentally. Honestly, congratulations. But I needed that. I needed it. I needed it. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I needed to reclaim my mind, spirit, and all that shit. I needed that. I have a habit of getting fucked up too many times, all the time. And this happened like literally that same week that we recorded with Mama Duke. And you yes. were missing. That was like my first day. I think my first day being so. I'm happy for you. I hope that was really hungover, and I think I made the decision that day that I was gonna stop. Drinking. I remember the first time that I tried that out, like a couple of years ago, not drinking for a month for as a New Year's resolution. It gives you a sort of strength, like a sort sure. of like. A different a confident mentality is like okay like you, yeah. like for I did it because I wanted to reassure myself like okay I want to make sure I don't have a problem yeah. I don't have a drinking sure. issue you're right you're right and when you do it it's like okay yeah like, I have control over this shit I, obviously I don't drink too much and I'm not addicted I'm not like oh, I'm not dying yeah you you so, don't have a problem that's what yes. you want to reassure you yourself still got, of. you still got to be careful after that it's like when you're like all right now I know where I'm at I think everybody cool. should go to bed with sober thoughts every once in a while at least. Or smoke some weed. Yeah, have, I'm have starting sober to turn thoughts. Sober, I prefer to smoke over drinking. Maybe one day out the week, just go to bed sober. Fucking sucks waking up with hangovers to work. <laughs> Honestly, you haven't really gone a sleep sober since uh, in a while. So I drink every day. So I know, Troy. It, I was kind of saying that to you. In a I know. Way. Shout out weed. <laughs> Shout out weed. <clears throat> honestly, hey. honestly, I love smoking. Uh, like nah, I, I, we're all smoking after this pod. Just. If, yeah, yeah I, got, I got the backwoods in the room. So is Troy. He does. He has the Keith backwoods, bro. Yeah, 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 right yeah, 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 yeah we're going to get smacked, all right? Okay, but we need to get through this podcast all real right, quick. Yeah, so Troy, note. Mario, Jay, somebody please go. Positive right, note. So, positive um, note. This is going to be a positive note, but it's also going to be going in, hopefully, if this is your positive note. Um, so my contractor, I, I, know, I know a bitch a lot about, you know, my job and stuff and working for FedEx been working six days a week and even then i needed some time off back in the day whenever all this stuff was happening i was getting overworked uh my boss came up and gave me an opportunity to go um what's it called off it's not off broad travel yeah to travel travel for work travel for work um because they're paying a lot more and uh if you're watching or if you're listening there's a lot of Fed- every delivery service, USPS, UPS, FedEx, and um, Amazon. Be a traveling Amazon. Trainer. And dude, as much as people have been ordering, there's a lot of terminals that are failing service. And guess what happens if you fail service? Shit you lose money. And um, my boss want to put a constituent team. Is that how you say constituent? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so she wanted to put a constituents team, and she was like, hey, how would you feel like if I put you in a terminal up in Kentucky or in Florida or in Louisiana, and we have a team out there, and I was like, yo, this shit, you, are you kidding me? Like, I fucking love to travel. But yeah, you'll be working seven days a week for two weeks, so basically I'm working every day. 
But then when I come back, I get a couple of days off and I was like, yo, I would love to travel to a different city, <laughs> learn a different route because these terminals, so everything new. like let's, let's go. every I'm terminal is failing. And guess what? They're paying double the price. I was like, even fucking better. Yay, like this is, this, this is the dream that I wanted. I mean, as much as work that yeah. I, it's not like I'm You're a, a higher fucking, level in your career, you know, as if I was to go to, or if I was to be a flight attendant and go to New York and just sleep in the bed one night and go back and then you know it's, it's not like that it's like yo Get i'm going going there i'm gonna work help this terminal out make my boss some money and a lot of people don't know that this is happening so this is the first time i've ever speaking of it there's only a couple people that know about, about this but if it does happen yeah. and my boss has told me some bunch of shit the that's podcast happen, is over podcast is over <laughs> nah. a, a bunch of shit that she's been telling me but she's told me Everything she's told me is like, yo, this is gonna happen. Like, I want this. Yeah. I want. I want one yeah. like this. Just like, yo, can you imagine if I travel to fucking like Delaware or something and work there for two weeks? <laughs> the love. I'm in fucking Delaware. He's in Delaware delivering your dildos to your door. <laughs> That's my man Troy right there. You're getting paid double time for that blue, shit. Blue pills. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Honestly, shout out to Cap and shout out to the contractor I work for. She's honestly. Really hard working, and um, apparently, like, whenever we were going through this process, the last episode I was saying, I was like, yo, whenever we did this process, and she lost, like, 10 pounds of the stress of us gaming Shit. the whole fucking 78745, we, 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 we delivered everything to the 4-5 now. <laughs> everything for the 4-5. West side of 35. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, I, I, Troy, we were happy for you. Congratulations. Hell yeah, man. Hope and you get that shit. Yeah, and please don't let this be in the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mario. You He's going to be through Sweet. He's going to be on, on Zoom. Let me get one more. Uh, that's why Mario put up that uh, if this podcast uh, were to yeah, return. Who knows, man? It might be the end. I'm glad it's, Jay it's, was it's here not, for it. It's not going to be the end, <laughs> but we're working on. I'm, we'll reconstruct. Yeah. I have a bunch of ideas already. Yeah. So the reason he said that and why I'm about to say this, I'm basically piggybacking off the same uh, positive note as Troy. I got offered a similar job opportunity to go live in another state and work over there for way higher pay than I didn't expect to ever receive for another damn near 10 years. And so, but it is a means of relocating to another state for several months at a time. And yes, I am very grateful. That would very put me very several steps ahead in life, and that would that would change life. Basically, is what I'm saying. But us saying going off of that is basically it's like I have had in the the back of my mind the thought of what's gonna happen to the pod. What are we gonna do? Two of us are gone, and one of us, two of us are here. Uh, at first, there is several doubts, but hey, shout out, shout out the breaks, shout out ISIS, shout out them for any sort of doubt idea that we've had. They're supportive and check us and let us know that we're still on a good pace. Yeah, I actually it's, saw ISIS saying like we're good. I was like, yo, yeah. it, I mean, we're always gonna be good. It, it just, reroutes me. It just the, the opportunities. Yes, it reroutes me to the same goal, end game, and same goal for what we have for this. But it, it 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 influences me to reconstruct, go and rebuild and change the whole way of the way we do everything, which it's kind of interesting at the same time. But uh, uh, this is not gonna end. We're gonna keep potting. It may change the way we do it. There's no telling. You know, everything's up in the air for now. But yes. Changes are scary. Big changes are yeah, scary, yeah, yeah. but changes are good. So yeah, for sure. You will definitely not see the last of us. We are not. Somehow, some quit. way, we're gonna keep getting drunk in your face. <laughs> Somehow, <laughs> of course, yes. And that we're is gonna true. keep having guests. We're gonna keep but, doing stuff with people. Yeah. We may rearrange the way we do it. We may have some special episodes. Like I have yeah. so many ideas. Like yeah. for. Hey man, I'm proud of y'all for putting your life ahead of this shit. Obviously, uh, congrats on the promotions, respectively, that y'all guys are getting. 
if this is the end, which you said it's not, but if Never. this was the end, I'm happy that I did it with you guys. I'm happy that I was able to sit here with Vintage J I'm and here, all the man. guests we had on the fucking show, man. It. Yeah, yeah, man, it's, just been, it's been awesome. Don't forget to send me a, a Christmas card. <laughs> <laughs> if y'all do. <laughs> you know, it'll, you got, it'll be you a, a Zoom Christmas I'll tra- card. I'll trade you for some bud, I think. <laughs> fuck, Maryland? Yeah. That's where Damn, I'm like, God damn, I didn't know. <laughs> Jay's like, I didn't know I was signing up for this what shit. Are you ta- what are you talking about? <laughs> but I like, uh, uh, Jay, uh, we have one last moment, and this is yours. Uh, happy moment. My, po- my, my positive note. Um, my positive note. Um, I got a, yeah, 1996 played on the radio yesterday. That was really one of my really positive notes. My my homie called me crazy. What, yo, bro? You on the <laughs> fucking radio? I was like, well, like, what you mean? Like, yo, you on the night? KUTA, this and that. I'm oh, like, shit. I, I hopped hits. on, and I'm like, man, that's dope as fuck. And then, uh, so, yeah, man, shout out to them boys uh, for putting 1996 on the radio station. And on positive note, let's see here. I got a new music video coming out. Feel it on my soul with Northside, Northside on Mali, big homie. Um, it will be dropping within a week or two. Uh, shot by Dan to the L. And um, I do have uh, our virtual show uh, coming up. Oh, uh, virtual this, show! Ooh, he getting in, he get into it. This this month with a, a lot of talented people yeah. from the city. And we'll yes, keep sir. you guys posted on that. We, we, we whatever Jay guys. announces, we will yeah. reiterate. We can't say too much, but yeah. it's gonna be it's, it's gonna be a coming. Really, it's it's with really good uh, update artists. Update your city. Wi-Fi. Update your yeah. cell service. Make sure you stream. If you take one you thing from this podcast, is go listen to Be God and Son on all streaming platforms right now. Yes, sir. Nineteen ninety six is on the radio. Bandcamp, I believe. Yeah, yeah. 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 Go to Bandcamp. SoundCloud, Spotify, Sh- Apple, right? Title, everything. Follow yeah, this go. man. What's your at? Let's go. At Vintage J. And we'll put on that Instagram up. Instagram and we'll uh, J Vintage on Twitter. Shout out. Go run Vintage that up. Jay. Yes, sir. Thank, Thank you. you guys. Mr. Jay Z. <laughs> Oh, that was awesome. That shit's smooth, man. I love that shit. Yep. Yeah, but I'm fucked up now. <laughs> uh, we're going to end this podcast. I'm one of your hosts. My name is Troy. Mario from the South Side. I'm Mark. Yeah. And my name is Vintage Jay, Mr. North North. Nah. And we are out. Yes, sir. Yeah. It's running outside, the devil coming, niggas balling on the budget, press up bitches, never understand it. I count a couple hundred thousand and it seems like I still don't get it. And middle finger, if you ain't fucking with it. Despite the absence, so what happened? Shut your mouth, homie. I know it's filling the field, so keep your guard, homie. Kicking doors down, shanking niggas, super red is coming up and off your windows, probably leave you Simple as that, simple as that, simple as that.